Hello and welcome. My name is Steve Maxwell and I'm a part of the pre-sales organization at CyberRes. In this video, we're going to talk about using threat intelligence with ArcSight SOAR. First, we'll talk about some of the use cases and benefits of integrating these two technologies. Next, I'll show you how to set up a threat intelligence platform to work with ArcSight SOAR. Then I'll show you how to get this integration set up and configured in ArcSight SOAR. And finally, I'll show you some resources that I've created to help you get ArcSight SOAR deployed and configured in your environment. There are a number of use cases and benefits to integrating SOAR with threat intelligence technologies. Along with suspicious and malicious indicators of compromise, or IOCs, Threat intelligence platforms provide rich metadata that is attributed or associated to those indicators. This metadata gives you additional context to help you understand the significance of the activity detected. For example, what is the threat level or severity of the activity? What is the indicator type? Is this a file that's attributed to ransomware or phishing attacks? what actors or APT groups are associated with the indicators, and what MITRE attack tactics or techniques are they using. ArcSight SOAR brings this all together by enriching cases and incidents with this threat intelligence metadata. ArcSight SOAR enrichment can be run either automatically or manually. The automatic enrichment is handled by playbooks and the visual playbook editor as seen on the left. Playbooks define the automation and orchestration part of SOAR and can be fully or semi-automated. Manual enrichment is done by the SOC analysts as they're performing a threat investigation. I'll show you what this looks like later when we set up the SOAR integration. There are out-of-the-box integrations with over 20 different threat intelligence platforms included with ArcSight SOAR, and on the left you can see a list of some of them. As well, on the ArcSight Marketplace, we provide additional integrations that you can download for free. There's also an ESM and SOAR integration content package that I've posted on ArcSight Marketplace that we'll talk about later. The threat intelligence platform I'm using is MISP, the malware information sharing platform. MISP is free, open source, community-driven threat intelligence and I have a local MISP instance that I'm going to connect to. Once I log into my MISP instance, I'll click on Automation on the left, and then click on the link to view and manage my API keys. Next, I'll click Auth Keys, and then click Add Authentication Key. ArcSight SOAR integrates with MISP using the REST API, and here we're adding an auth key specifically for this purpose. We can put in comments, allowed IPs, and an expiration date to track and further lock down the usage of this key. Once the key is generated, it's displayed once, and you'll need to make note of it for when we set up the integration in ArcSight SOAR. In ArcSight SOAR, there are only two resources that we need to create to integrate with MISP. The first is a credential, which is the MISP authentication key we just generated. The second is an integration, which identifies the MISP instance that SOAR will connect to. Once I log in to the Fusion interface, I'll click Respond to get to SOAR. I'll click Configuration, Credentials, and then Create Credential. I'll give it a name and paste the MISP authentication key into the private key field. Since we're using the MISP REST API, there's no need to enter a username or password. Once that's done, I'll click Save and then go to Integrations. Under Integrations, I'll click to create an integration. I'll give it a name and then scroll under Type to select MISP. The address is going to be the URL to my MISP instance, and the credential will be the one I just created. 
I'm using self-signed certificates, so I'll click to Trust Invalid Certificates and save it. I'll give it a couple of seconds and then click Refresh and the availability status will change from Checking to Online. As we talked about earlier, ArcSight SOAR can automatically enrich cases using playbooks. Here in the Playbook Editor, we can add an additional workflow step to enrich the case based on the threat intelligence data from the MISP instance. Let's go back and look at the open cases. The one that jumps out at me is the suspicious file hash activity on host case. I don't have a playbook set up for this use case, so I'll run a manual enrichment by clicking on Enrich in the upper right part of the Fusion interface. I'll filter this down to the MISP integration I just set up. I'll select it. Here I can see that I automatically populated the file hash and I'll click Enrich. When we scroll down, we can see the Enrichments tab. I'll expand the MISP enrichment and we can see all of the threat intelligence data and metadata that ArcSight SOAR was able to pull from MISP. There are two resources that I've posted on the ArcSight Community and ArcSight Marketplace sites that will help you with your ArcSight SOAR deployment. The first is a build guide for SOAR, and the second is ESM integration content. The From the Ground Up build guide will walk you through getting ArcSight SOAR installed, configured, and working with your ArcSight ESM deployment. This covers the ESM content that needs to be set up, as well as how to install and configure the ArcSight platform and the ArcSight forwarding connector. The guide also covers the steps we've gone through in this video with integrating a MISP instance with ArcSight SOAR. The integration content package on the ArcSight Marketplace is an ARB file you can import into your ArcSight ESM Manager. This package includes all of the ESM resources that you need to set up the SOAR integration and mirrors the material covered in the build guide. That concludes this video on using threat intelligence with ArcSight SOAR. Thank you for listening.